Yo, do y'all rock with the jammies, the pajama pants, the cat pajama pants? Are y'all rocking with it? Let me know in the comments. All right. What's going on, Virgil Promites here? Welcome back to another reaction video. It has been a little bit. Um. It's, it's been, it feels like a while for me at least. What's been happening? Why haven't you been posting videos? Well, the main reason is because my air conditioning unit. Our house has central AC, you know, the floor where you got the vents and that's how the air comes in. Yeah, that completely died. So yeah, it was a hundred degrees. It, it was a thousand degrees in our house for probably almost uh, a week, like five days. However, we got windowed AC units, you know, like the big white box that you put on your window, right? Those things, yeah. So we, uh, we got one of those and for the bedrooms and they worked really, really well. However, they are extremely loud and I really wasn't, really probably was not able to make videos. My camera right now is pretty much the same place as where the windowed AC unit was because it's the only window in my bedroom. Uh, so that's all y'all would have been hearing is just how loud the AC unit was. So I, um, I couldn't really do anything. I, I kept it on all day. I probably could have turned it off for like 20 minutes and made a regular video, but I didn't. Today we are reacting to another Sisto project. This time on DPMO. I feel like Sisto is trying to go on like every possible label he can, uh, which is cool because I think he should be on all these labels that he's releasing on. First it was Cyclops Recordings, then it was Disciple Round Table, uh, then it, I think there was another one that we did. No, he was on Bygore. He went back on Cyclops Recordings. Uh, he did have his most recent EP besides the, his newest one that we're going over today. That one was a self-release. I, I didn't want it like this. And I actually did check it out on one of my live streams. So I don't remember which one it was. But uh, today we are checking out his newest EP on DPMO called Eyes Sewn Silent. So I already know two of the tracks. I know Spell Pact because that one released beforehand. I didn't know we were getting an EP, but I probably should have guessed. And then I know Stunlock. I know a little bit of Stunlock and it. It's one of my favorite IDs from his 2022 showcase. So I'm really, really excited to check that one out. Blistered and Headless Crow, we're gonna find out. So yeah, uh, we've we've gone over Sisto multiple times. He's one of the heaviest rhythm dubstep producers right now. And I really, really love his style. So yeah, let's freaking get it. Zen. I think we're just gonna get started. Let's go. Track one, Blistered. Very excited to hear some new Sisto again. Just the crunch king. Also has phenomenal intros as well. Always building great atmosphere. Ooh. That took a nice turn. I like the brightness of those chords. And now they're gone. Okay, great. They have a more quieter buildup. Large fake out. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, the gun. Was this in the newest showcase? The conjuring of the elixir? Oh my god. This one's a little more simple, but uh, the punch, the punch that it brings. Okay, great start so far. Oh my god! I can only make one movement, and it's this one. Oh my gosh. That is so sick. My muscle, my arm's about to fall off. All I could do is this. I feel like I'm just punching somebody in the face. Wow, okay. I don't know if I remember that one. It must be from his newest showcase, which I've only heard a couple times, but I've heard his 2022 showcase probably hundreds of times, so. That pickup was so sick. 
love this flow right here. I think QK did a similar flow in a, a, a song. I don't one of his songs. I don't know. I, I've heard that so I've heard that kind of flow somewhere before. Phenomenal start. I mean, it was pretty simple and to the point, but that Sisto touch, it hasn't really been a one-upped yet because I don't know. I don't know how he does it. I don't, our only hope now for this being the best Sisto EP, or my favorite Sisto EP, is this next track, Headless Crow, because we know the other two, I know the other two, and I know they're really good. So let's go. Headless Crow. Off the bat, more melodic, more of a melodic touch. What is that? Is that like a Reese bass? It's like really glitched, like glitchy instead of more crunchy. Ooh. Ooh. More of a bouncy one. Oh, okay. I like that flow. That flow's decent. I love the sound design more than the flow. I also really like the drums too. Yeah, a bit almost a bit more of a cleaner mix going on here. I love this Reese though, or whatever that weird kind of bass texture is. It's really nice. I also love the melody that's playing on top. It's kind of like a call and response kind of thing going on. I love those kinds of melodies. I just think they're really catchy. <laughs> Sisto's fake outs always are are just great. They're always just fantastic. And not my favorite flow that I've heard. But it's still solid. I love the more blocky sound design here. It's a little more clean. It's not super clean, but it's it's more clean. I think that kick really does it too. The way that the kick kinda it sounds uh, a little more like cheap, I guess is like not in a bad way, but just like it's not as um it's not as boomy and, and, and gritty as is as what he usually does. It's it's more of like a almost like a kick from like another genre or something. The other two tracks that I've already heard, uh really solid start. Uh I think Headless Crow is definitely gonna be my least favorite of the project, but still a very, very solid tune. Uh I think the flows you know, there's something about with me and flows, like, as good as your sound design and stuff is, if the flow's not really riding with me that much, then I'm probably not going to go back to it. The flows definitely weren't bad. Like, they were definitely listenable. You you knew where you were in the song, so it had nothing to do with that. It's just, I can get really picky with that kind of stuff. Let's go to the pre-release uh, pre Spell Pact. We've already heard this one entirely, but we're going to listen to it again. Very, very, very good song. Love this one. I remember this one. This was from the um, 2022 showcase, if I'm if I remember correctly. Really like 90s intro going on here, but it's like Halloween 90s, which is a vibe unlike anything else. I like how there's like a small clap sweep that kind of like goes next to the kick. I can't keep up. Oh, the atmosphere in this B section. Oh, never mind, it ended. Okay, we're going right back. The heaviness. Ugh. Oh, that flow right there. I like more simpler flows, but I also like how he kind of experiments. And it works for me. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's the track. <laughs> it, it's two. It's two and a half minutes. Kind of just feels like one whole, just one longer drop, which is which is pretty neat. I really like that one. The energy in that one, and, and the fake out too. The fa again, Sisto's fake outs always top tier. The the brightness, but also the darkness of that one shot, and just being able to do both in one sitting, and, and still create. That kind of energy is um, is a uh, spot on. So, 
with this last song, bro. Stunlock. I've wanted this one for so long, man. It's it's the vocal that plays during the drop. It's just I don't get it. It works so well. This is like a song from like a race car movie or something. That like acid bass. Oh lord, here we go. Sound. That's actually pretty sick. Oh lord. It, the vocal gives it so much more energy and, and unique. Punching everything. I, uh, get out of my way, bro. Yeah, this is probably my favorite. I didn't expect this kind of more on beat intro to work so well and transition perfectly with this more. Uh, Off-beat kind of thing going on here. I can't. Oh, this is that is so good. I like. How do you come up with that? I have to. I have to replay that first drop real quick. This is the just. that vocal was not playing throughout, it would not hit the same. For the third time, your fake outs, not real. That's, I needed that. I needed that EP. Um, very, very good. Very, very, very good. I think, yeah, Stonemark's definitely my favorite. I'm actually thinking Blistered might be better than Spell Pact. I don't know. They're definitely neck and neck. Um, but then Headless Crows is uh, my least favorite. But overall, well executed, well done. From from what I feel though, Conjuring of Elixir Volume 1, I feel like we're getting more sound design kind of songs and less of these. Like a lot more, we're, I feel like we're going to get a lot more in the future of the songs from I Didn't Want It Like This. Which is fine, like you know, because I think they were, I think they were even more creative than these. But if I had to pick like favorites from Zisto, it's it's not those songs. It's definitely more songs just like high energy, just, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like not just more kind of simple, but like still well executed. That EP wasn't my favorite. So there were a lot of elements in there that wasn't for me, but I still do respect the project. Uh, this, however, I knew I think was going to be like this because A, I already knew half, half the tracks on there. It's on DPMO. And DPMO is not known for its more storytelling, almost sound design flex kind of stuff. It's more for just, we want you to move your feet, move your head, move your arms, move your whole body, move your knee bone, move your, move your ankles. What? Okay. Uh, shout out Sisto and, um, and DPMO. So, all right. <laughs> that, was, that was great. I literally just got up like an hour ago and I was like, I got to do videos. Let's start with some boom bam. So, uh, yeah, good way to start the morning. It's, what, 10.30? Yeah, 10.33, so, yeah. Um, cool. Thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you all later. All right. I gotta stop doing that stupid-ass turn on the chair. It is pointless. Bye-bye <sighs> now.